Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, firstly, just want to say thank you if you're watching this. Um, it feels quite weird to be doing this again, but um, I just wanted to do um, as my first kind of vlog um, of 2018, um, just like a little chat and a little kind of explanation. Um, if you follow me, oh, my phone's ringing. Hello. Maybe get some like fresh rolls or something. I don't know. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Where was I? Um, so yeah, I thought my first video of 2018, I'd kind of like give a little bit of an explanation behind the status that I put up on Facebook the other day. So if you um, are one of my friends on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I put up a um, status um, or a post um, basically saying that I'm doing something completely different this year and I have waved goodbye to corporate ladder life and decided to go it on my own and start my own business so I basically said that I was my first vlog of the year was going to be me explaining what I'm doing so I'm really excited to kind of tell you if you're watching um so let me kind of cut I was just going to say cut a long story short but I kind of think this is going to be a long story so let's go back to November I think it was the 28th, got into work as usual, had my morning coffee, had my toast, started doing my work and at 11 o'clock I was driving home um, never to return to the office again. Um, I had been made redundant and I was not expecting it so I was an EA um, and that's an executive assistant, if you're not sure, um, for the CEO of a marketing and advertising company local to where I live. Um, and I'd been there for a year and a half. And if I'm being completely honest, probably the last two or three months of um, working there, uh, I absolutely hated I was driving into work every single day, feeling like I was driving to go to prison. <laughs> it just brought nothing to my life. I came home with no sense of achievement. Um, I was working for someone that was not particularly focused on their work or just not really driven and therefore that kind of then reflects onto my work. So I wasn't very busy and I was coming home and like, all I'd done that day was like book a hotel or something like that, which one of my dogs can do. And yeah, so I just wasn't really getting anything from it. Um, I wasn't enjoying it. Um, and I've been a PA or in that kind of line of work since I left school. And that was kind of like the nail in the coffin for me. Like it didn't work this time. The boss that I was working for before was like a complete psycho. Um, and I just was like, do I really want to go and do this again? Like, do I want to chase after this dream of like working for someone who's like super driven, um, a really nice person that like, cares about my career um, and that we have a really good like working relationship? Like, am I realistically, I, I know that some people have that, but I feel like it's a really slim, it's like slim pickings. Like you could, it, it's so rare to find that. And I was like, do I really like, do I get anything from this? I don't want to go back to working in London. I hated getting on that disgusting train every single day, um, going out at the crack of dawn, coming back like super late. It was always dark and just like, no, I'm not into that. So every day I was driving into work, obviously, before I was made redundant, um, wondering like what I can do. I was trying to think like, can I invent something? <laughs> what can I invent? Um, what like, what job can I do that will work around my life? and then obviously I was made redundant, so I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I kind of skipped out of the office and I was like, yes, I, I do, I am a firm believer, I know it sounds really cringy and really cliche, but I am a massive believer of everything happens for a reason, I also feel like whatever you put out into the universe, you get back, so, um, I was going in every day, like, I don't want to do this, don't want to do this, hate this, hate this, hate this. And I honestly believe that someone answered my prayers and was like, right, okay, well, if you don't want to do this anymore, we're going to take it away from you. And then I was made redundant, which 
actually worked out the best for me because I would never, ever, ever have had the guts or been brave enough to um, just give up my job. Um, I've got a mortgage to pay, I've got bills to pay, I've got two dogs to look after. Like, I'm never going to give up a full-time salary to just go it on my own. So, actually, they did the best thing that they could have done for me because it pushed me into... Um, making that decision on what like I want to do now so I got into my car I was all like yeah 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 like I've been yeah I'd never have to come in again and then I rang James and I was just like oh my god no actually I didn't do that and I was like guess where I am and he was like where and I was like um on my way home and he was like why and then it just hit me and I was just like Actually, I don't think I made any noise. I think I was silent crying. You know, when you're like... And he was like, Lucy, are you there? And I was like... And he was like, what's wrong? <laughs> and I was just going... He was like, speak to me. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, I've just been made redundant. And he was like, good. I'm so glad. Like, I didn't want you working there anyway. Come home and let's talk about it. So came home, like, obviously on the way home, rang my mum, spoke to my dad... Um, spoke to my sister, like, pretty much rang everyone. And um, I got home and James was like, let's make a plan. I am a qualified nail technician, which most of you probably won't know. Have been for about, I think, five years now. And it's a passion of mine. I love it. Um, I get to meet new people all the time. I get to do something that I love and when I'm working I don't feel like I'm working um so I'm giving it a go I'm a mobile nail technician um and I am going on a course to learn how to do classic individual eyelashes and then hopefully then I'll expand onto Russian lashes and I've got an idea for what I want to do after that um, to kind of expand my business. But for now, that's what I'm doing. I'm so over the moon and so happy that I've made this decision. Um, I have loads of ideas and the long-term goal is to have my own either shop or as like a one-stop shop where you can have... Um, your nails done, your lashes done, your makeup done, your blow dry done, um, your lips done, like whatever it may be, that is my long term goal and I feel like it's really important to have that. Um, I'm not going to be mobile forever, it's just while I'm starting off and actually I'm really enjoying it. I don't know, like I've never really been this kind of person that's like wants to be the like CEO of wherever and like be this like high-flying career woman that like trots around in heels all day That's just not really me. I'm such a home person. I love being at home with my dogs I love taking them out. I feel like doing this job has allowed me to take control of my life and be able to do the things that I want to do and I'm constantly thinking of new ideas and how I'm going to make this work and make this something different to what other people do. So at the moment it very much sounds like I'm, you know, going to be a, a mobile nail lady that um, is what every other person does. But I have so many ideas and I am going to make it different. Um, but it's going to take time. I know it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy to start off with. Um, I'm absolutely aware of that. I have got a company name, but I'm in the process of having all my branding, my logo and everything designed. So I don't want to reveal that yet because um, once I've received all of that through, I am going to do sort of a launch with that. Um, so that's kind of where I am. Um, I am so, so happy. I feel like I'm free. Uh, before I just felt like I was being controlled I was told when I could go home when I could eat my lunch and like oh, I just don't want that like literally I just want to live my life and do you know the things that I want to do work when I want to work so yeah that's basically what I'm doing and um, that leads me on to my vlogging one of my new year's resolutions last year was to, um, well I bought my camera and it was to up my YouTube game and that completely flopped 
because I didn't have the time to do it. I wasn't putting the effort into it. Um, and I just yeah, like didn't make the time for it. So this year, my goal is going to be to up my YouTube game again, but I want to get to 500 subscribers and that literally like it does kind of make me want to laugh when I say that because I follow so many people on YouTube <laughs> and they've got like millions of subscribers and 500 people like subscribers doesn't sound like a lot at all and it sounds really stupid but I want to have an achievable goal and I think that if the more content that I upload hopefully more and more people will subscribe and if I can get to 500 subscribers like I literally feel like that would be quite good so that is my goal so I laugh at it so like you can laugh at it as well but I that's that's what I'm gonna go for um so yeah I'm gonna try and do that alongside obviously running my new business um and I'm gonna upload makeup tutorials hair tutorials and I'm I think I might do things like this I'm I'm gonna do more like day in the life vlogging so now that I've got more time on my hands um, and more free time I am going to do some vlogging and just take my camera out with me um, I'm going I'm in the process of um, kind of having some consultations in London about some potential surgery that I might be having um, so I am going up to London next week um, so I'll take my camera with me for that and maybe vlog my journey with what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, like loads of different things. So if there's anything that you want me to kind of film, then please comment or just send me a message. Let me know what you want to see. Um, one, of the, one of the tutorials someone wanted me to post um, last year was um, like quick makeup for work. So like 10 minute makeup, which I absolutely used to rely on so much because I would want the extra 20 minutes in bed so I'd just literally slap my makeup on super quick so I'll definitely do that it's one of the first things I'm going to do I got loads of cool um makeup palettes and lipsticks and stuff for Christmas so I'm going to do some tutorials with using those um and like anything else that you want to see really just kind of let me know but I am so like I literally cannot explain I feel like I've been smiling this whole vlog because I am so excited like I feel like this is like I keep saying like I need to stop doing it I feel that <laughs> this is where I'm meant to be now and it feels so right and this sounds so stupid and I feel like I don't know why I'm like welling up but um I feel like this is where I have meant no, how do I say it? This is where I'm meant to be and have meant... No. This is the route that I should have always taken or where I'm meant to be right now. And I do believe that I've had to take the other paths and do all of the other jobs to get to where I am now. But this feels so right. And I am so excited for the future cannot thank everyone enough for being so supportive I don't think I've had a single negative comment from anyone not that I ever thought that I would but not even a mm, are you sure it's going to work mm, you're going to be able to pay your bills like are you going to be all right love so I just want to say like massive thank you obviously to my friends and family that have known that this is what I'm you know doing for quite a while now but also like I want to give a bit of a shout out to uh, James, who's my boyfriend. And I know that you'll secretly be watching this when I'm not around. Just thank you for just being so supportive. Couldn't have asked for anything more. I've, if I can reach my goal of 500 subscribers, I will be over the moon. And I think that I need to do something to celebrate when I get to 500. So I need to, if you've got any ideas of what I can do to celebrate comment thank you everyone for watching i hope this explains to everyone what i'm gonna do thank you so much to all the people that commented on my post on instagram and facebook to say like good luck and it honestly means the world to me like it's so nice to have so much support and um 
I'm just really excited for this new journey and I'm sorry that this vlog's been like quite serious and like not very fun or whatever but I wanted to kind of explain to everyone what I'm doing and what my ideas are and um, I hope everyone has enjoyed uh, this vlog and I would just ask you again to like, subscribe to my channel. See you all next time. Bye!